Hi everyone. Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn balancing chemical equations. Ang equation na i-discuss natin ay ang decomposition reaction. Paano mag-balance ng chemical equation? Madali lang itong mga steps na i-discuss natin. Okay, but before we start, video hit it. Okay, thank you. So, ano ba yung mga decomposition reaction? Bakit nagkakaroon ng decomposition reaction? Now, decomposition reaction are chemical reactions in which a more complex molecule breaks down to make simpler ones. So, from compound, okay, it will break down into its different molecules. Okay, whatever molecules is present on the compound. So, this type of decomposition reaction happens. Bakit nangyayari ito? Number one, pag mayroon tayong uh, exposure sa heat. So, pag expose ang chemical sa heat, may mga compound na ito ay nag-decompose nag due to thermal exposure. So, usually, ang reaction na ito ay exothermic, meaning to say, it releases heat. Okay, so pag expose din siya sa heat, nagde-decompose siya into uh, its simpler molecule. Another is, if meron tayong uh, exposure naman sa uh, electricity. So, ito yung tinatawag nating electrolytic decomposition reaction. So, nade-decompose din yung mga uh, compounds natin, lalo na yung mga compounds in an aqueous solution. So, pag mayroong electricity, yung mga cations at anions uh, ay na, ano sila, nandedecompose. So, next is we have the last one, the last type of decomposition reaction is the photo, uh, photo decomposition reaction. Ano naman yung photo decomposition reaction? Ang photo decomposition reaction, ito pag yung compound mo, okay, ay na-exposed, for example, under sunlight, direct sunlight, so, posible na uh, kakaroon ng decomposition reaction. So, yun yung i-discuss natin ngayon. Paano natin ibabalance ang mga, uh, ang mga equations, ang mga chemical equations that have undergone decomposition reaction. Okay? So, we still have the same uh, rules to discuss. So, yan ang na-discuss natin sa synthesis reaction. So, ito, decomposition reaction. Example natin, meron tayong compound A, uh, AB, okay, isang compound siya. So, when it decomposes, so either thermal decomposition, electrolytic decomposition, or photo decomposition, so siya po ay magproproduce ng kanyang uh, molecules na AB. Okay, so pag ganito yung equation natin, AB decomposes to uh, A and B, okay, so, pag ganito, meaning to say, isa, pa lang, isa lang po yung subscript natin lahat dito pag walang nakasulat. So, is, isa din yung coefficient natin dito. So, pag walang nakasulat. But in our next example, in our next equation, so, ito yung equation natin, meron tayong y dito, meaning to say, na y could be any number from 1 to, to 100 or whatever, okay? So, 1 to 10. So, and of course, we also have the coefficient. So, pag meron ito, may number dito sa front, yun yung number of uh, atoms niya. Okay. So, yun yung dapat i-remember natin. Kung may subscript siya, okay, or wala. Kung walang subscript, then it only means that the value of that is 1. So, n is your coefficient and y stands for your subscript. Okay. So, yun yung uh, decomposition reaction natin. Okay, so general rule, okay, yung mga rules natin in balancing equation, unang-una is you start balancing per molecule. So, ano ba yung molecules na meron doon sa reactant? Ano yung mga molecules na present naman dito sa product site natin? So, dapat yung molecules natin sa reactant, ay, the, the number of molecules dito sa reactant is the same number of molecules dito sa product site. Okay, so remember again, our law of conservation of mass. Okay, so uh, ito, 
example natin, let's try balancing this equation. Pag ang tubig, so meron tayong hydrogen oxide or we call it the water. So water decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen in the presence of electric current. So ito yung tinatawag natin electrolysis. So pag merong electrolysis, water decomposes into its simpler molecule. So ano yung mga molecule natin? Of course, the water magde-decompose into hydrogen and oxygen. Kung titignan nyo, dito sa product site natin, hydrogen is 2, may subscript na 2. Why? Because hydrogen is a diatomic molecule. So for every molecule of hydrogen, meron tayong dalawang atom. Okay? So same thing with oxygen. So doon sa table of periodic elements natin, meron yun doon mga uh, elements or uh, substance that are diatomic in nature. Okay? So yun yung ano natin, titignan natin. So meaning to say may subscript tayo to dito. So let's check kung balance ng equation na ito. So hydrogen, tignan natin ang hydrogen sa reactant site natin dito. So you see, hydrogen have a subscript of 2 but wala siyang coefficient dito. So sabi natin, the rules in balancing equation kung walang coefficient, meaning yan po ay 1. So H or hydrogen is 2 times 1. So we have to multiply the subscript and the coefficient. So 2 times 1 will give us 2, more, uh, two atoms of hydrogen. Dito naman sa product site natin, so hydrogen, we have subscript 2, wala ding coefficient. So this is 2 times 1 also. So hydrogen sa product side is also 2. So let's check oxygen. So oxygen, on the reactant side, wala tayong subscript. So meaning this is 1, wala din tayong coefficient. Kasi yung coefficient dito will distribute yan kay hydrogen at kay Oxygen. Kung ano yung coefficient natin dito sa compound, i-multiply yun, distribute it yun for every molecule dyan sa compound natin. So in this case, meron tayong one uh, atom of oxygen, tapos one yung coefficient. So oxygen in the reactant site is one. So dito naman sa product site, subscript, meron tayong two atoms of oxygen, but Yung ano natin, yung coefficient, walang nakasulat means that is 1. So the number of atoms of oxygen dito sa product side is 2 times 1. Okay. So kung titignan nyo, hindi balance si oxygen. So saan tayo maglalagay? So let's try adding 2 dito sa uh, reactant site natin. Okay? So let's try adding to sa reactant site. So if we added 2, hindi na magiging 2C hydrogen, but instead, that will be 2 times 4, uh, 2 times 2 equals 4. Okay, so apat na. Of course, magbabago na din si oxygen dahil nagkaroon na tayo ng coefficient of 2. So that will give us a uh, new number of atoms of uh, oxygen, 1 times 2 is now 2. Okay. So, dito naman, punta tayo dito sa product side. So, sa product side, kung titignan nyo, hindi balance si hydrogen with the hydrogen na present dito sa reactant side. So, what we can do is we try to add 2 dito naman sa, uh, we try to add 2 dito sa product side sa, sa hydrogen natin. So, hydrogen ay magbabago na instead of 2 hydrogens becomes 4 dahil 2 times 2 will give us 4. Okay? So, no need to change oxygen. Di na kailangan. Balance na kasi si oxygen. So, if you could see, hydrogen dito sa reactant is 4. Hydrogen sa product site is 4. Oxygen sa reactant site is 2. Oxygen on the product site is 2. Therefore, this equation, okay, this equation is already balanced. So, the decomposition of water, okay, ito yung decomposition equation na balanced decomposition equation ng water. Okay? So, that's it. So, let's try another example, another decomposition reaction. So, tignan natin. Okay, let, let's try hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so, hydrogen peroxide, pag ito ay na-decompose, magkakaroon tayo ng water and oxygen. 
So, yun yung decomposition reaction ni hydrogen peroxide. So, let's check kung balance ba si hydrogen peroxide and water and oxygen on the product side. Hydrogen, okay, so ilan yung hydrogen sa reactant side? So, we have subscript 2, walang coefficient, meaning that is 1. So, 2 times 1, hydrogen is equals to 2. Dito naman sa product side, hydrogen may coefficient din na 2, uh, may subscript na 2, and coefficient na 1. So, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay? So, let's check oxygen dito sa reactant side. Oxygen mayroong subscript na 2. Okay? Coefficient is 1. So, oxygen is equals to 2 times 1 equals to 2. Dito sa kabila, kung titignan nyo, meron tayong oxygen present in hydrogen oxide sa water at meron din tayong 2 atoms of oxygen dito sa product site natin, sa oxygen. Oxygen molecule natin. So, ang gagawin po natin to get the total, okay? so to get the total number of oxygen, you have to add. How many molecules of oxygen present? Okay? So, how many molecules of oxygen present dito sa hydrogen oxide natin or sa water? At how many molecules of oxygen alone? Okay, so, i-add natin yan lahat para makuha natin ang total number of atoms of oxygen sa product side. So, kung titignan nyo dito sa water, isa lang yung uh, oxygen natin. Kasi subscript, walang subscript means that's 1. Walang coefficient, meaning that is 1 times 1. So, meron tayong 1. On the other side, meron tayong uh, uh, subscript na 2, pero walang coefficient. So, that is 2 times 1. So, equals 2. Dito may 1, dito may 2. So, mean to say, meron tayong 3 atoms of oxygen sa product side. So, only oxygen is not balanced. So, let's try and balance this equation. Okay, so let's try and add 2 dito sa reactant site natin. Okay, so sa hydrogen peroxide natin. So, hindi na 2 si hydrogen, but it will now become 2 times 2. Okay, so we have 2 and we also have 2 coefficient. So, 2 times 2 will give us 4. Oxygen has been changed also. So, nagbago na si oxygen. Kanina, 2 lang. Pero nag-add tayo ng coefficient na 2. So, ang oxygen natin ngayon is 2 times 2. So, it is now 4 also. So, kung titignan natin, hindi na balance both sides. Hindi balance hydrogen, hindi balance si oxygen. So, anong number pwede natin i-add to balance? Okay, so anong pwede natin i-balance? You try to add 2 coefficient ng water. So, kung i-add natin si hydrogen, hindi na siya 2 but it becomes now 2 times 2 equals 4. So, dito naman, in step na 3, ang number of oxygen dito sa water ay naging 1 times 2 na. So, 1 times the coefficient of 2 is 2. Remain 2 pa rin dito sa kabila, yung oxygen natin. So, 2 dito, 2 dito equals 2, hindi na 3, kundi 4. Okay? So, C, madali lang mag-balance ng equation. So, kung titignan nyo, meron tayong apat na uh, atoms of hydrogen sa reactant. Meron ding apat dito sa product. Oxygen is 4. Oxygen is 4 also. So, meaning to say, this equation is now balanced. Okay? So, very easy. Okay, so I hope uh, may natutunan kayo paano mag-balance ng equation. So, I think we, we still have some example here. Okay, so this one, try natin another one. Okay, so, meron tayong nickel oxide when it decomposes na proprodusya ng nickel and oxygen. Okay, so try natin kung balance ng equation. So, let's check nickel molecule una. So, sa nickel sa reactant site, meron tayong, anong meron? Yung subscript niya is 2, coefficient wala. So, that is 2 times 1. So, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Dito naman sa kabila, walang subscript, wala din coefficient. So, that is 1 times 1 equals 1. Let's check oxygen. Oxygen, dito sa reactant site, meron tayong... Uh, Subscript na 3, 
walang coefficient. So, that will give us 3 times 1 equals 3. Samantala dito naman sa ating product site, we have oxygen subscript 2, pero walang coefficient. So, that is 2 times 1 equals 2. So, if you can see, dito sa reactant site, we have 3 oxygen. Samantala dito sa product site, we have 2 oxygen lamang. So, we have to balance this equation. Let's try adding 2 dito sa reactant site natin. So, kung mag a tayo ng 2, okay? So, mag a tayo ng 2, si nickel will now become 2 times 2 is 4 na instead of 2. Okay? So, kung nag a tayo ng 2 coefficient, oxygen will be affected as well. So, hindi na 3 atoms si oxygen, but instead it will now become 3 times 2 equals 6. Okay? So, dito mabilis na lang kasi ano siya, in simpler form si nickel and oxygen. So, ano bang number na pwede natin i-add as coefficient kay nickel para magiging 4 since wala siyang subscript, meaning to say 1. Anong pwede natin multiply sa 1 para magiging 4, para magiging pareho doon sa reactant. So, let's try adding 4. Okay, so nickel now is 1 times 4 is 4. Oxygen, anong number pwede natin i-multiply kay 2 para makuha natin 6 para pareho na yung number of atoms sa, sa reactant in the product side. So, I think it's 3, di ba? So, when you multiply 2, when you multiply 2 sa 3, that is 6. Okay? So, if you could see, the reactant side, nickel is 4. Sa product side, we already have 4 also. Oxygen, sa reactant is 6. Sa product, we also have 6. So, meaning to say, this equation is now balanced. Okay? So, let's try another one. Okay? So, another example. If we have aluminum oxide, okay, when it decomposes into simpler uh, molecule, it will produce aluminum and oxygen. Okay? So let's check this equation. Let's check if balanced. So let's try aluminum first. So aluminum on the reactant side, meron tayong subscript na 2 times walang coefficient. So meaning this is 1. So 2 times 1 equals 2. Dito naman sa reactant side, sa product side I mean, Walang subscript, walang coefficient, meaning to say that is 1 and this is 1. So, 1 times 1 equals 1. Let's try oxygen. Oxygen, sa reactant side, we have 3. Okay, so since walang coefficient, so 3 times 1, oxygen is equals to 3. On the product side, meron tayong oxygen 2. Okay, coefficient is 1. Okay, walang nakasulat. So, that is 2 times 1 equals 2. So, if you could see both aluminum and oxygen is not balanced on the reactant and the product side. So, check natin. Anong pwedeng i-add natin to make aluminum balance? Try natin i-add ng 2 dito sa product side natin. Okay, let's make aluminum 2 uh, sa reactant side natin. So, aluminum now becomes 2 times 2, that is now 4. Oxygen is 3 times 2, that is 6. Dito sa kabila, what number are we going to multiply this to make aluminum 4? Okay, so, ito yung pwede natin gawin. At 4, so aluminum is not 1 anymore, but 1 times 4 equals 4. Now, oxygen, okay? So, oxygen is, how many yung oxygen natin? Dalawa yung una nating oxygen. So, since naging 6 sa kabila, let's think of a number that when you multiply with, with 2 will give you 6. So, definitely that is 3. So, 2 times 3 equals, okay, hindi na 2, 6. Okay, so there you have it. So, meron tayong apat na atom of aluminum sa reactant, apat din sa product side. Anim na oxygen, anim din dito sa product side. So, meaning to say, this equation is now 
balance. Okay? So, very easy lang pag-balance ng mga chemical equations. Dapat iisahin natin yung mga molecule per molecule. The reactant side and the product side. Okay? So, let's try another one. Meron tayong sodium chloride. So, everybody knows what is sodium chloride. Every day we're using sodium chloride. Okay? So, ito yung uh, salt natin. Okay, so salt, table salt natin. So when sodium chloride decomposes, okay, so ang decomposition product ng sodium ay sodium and chlorine. So if you could see chlorine, it's diatomic. Okay, dalawa din yung ano natin, subscript ni chlorine because chlorine is a diatomic. So for every molecule of chlorine, meron tayong dalawang atoms. Okay, so let's check if this equation is balanced. The reactant and product side, let's check sodium. So, walang subscript, okay? walang coefficient, meaning to say this is 1, and coefficient is also 1. So, 1 times 1, sodium is 1. On the other side, sa product side natin, sodium is 1 dito, 1 din dito. Okay? So, 1 times 1, sodium is 1. How about chlorine? Chlorine, walang subscript, meaning to say this is also 1. So, 1 times 1 equals 1. On the other side, may subscript si chlorine na 2, si chlorine. But walang coefficient. So, that is 2 times 1, chlorine is 2. Okay? So, sodium is balanced but chlorine is not balanced. So, let's try and add okay, some numbers to make it balanced. Okay, so, try natin i-add ng 2 sa sodium chloride. So, if we add 2 sa sodium chloride, sodium uh, molecule now will become 1 times 2 equals 2. Chlorine naman will become now 1 times 2 also. So, hindi na 1 but also 2. So, ang naiwan na lang hindi balance ay si sodium. So, since 2 dito sa kabila, very easy na lang. 1 dito ang subscript. So, we add 2 here to make sodium molecule 2. Okay, so, hindi na 1 but 1 times 2 equals 2. So, if you could check, sodium sa reactant site is 2. Sodium sa product site is also 2. Chlorine sa uh, reactant side, 2 din. Sa chlorine sa product side, ay 2 din. Okay? So, meaning, ito ay, uh, itong chemical equation natin is already balanced. Okay? So, always remember the rules in balancing equation. You can change the coefficient, but you cannot change the subscript. Okay? So, there you have it. Hope may natutunan kayo sa balancing equation natin of the composition reaction. Okay, so please, uh, thank you. Please like and subscribe. Okay, para makita nyo mga upcoming videos natin, mga lecture natin on chemistry. Okay, so thank you and...